Fortuna works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice, which would reveal to them their place in the world of hey, random. Guys, check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Uh, it's uh, an old crawl space. <laughs> nice work, Bernie. Let's go. All the Queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their new villages, Ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dice has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring. And joy, yes, joy that you a representative, me, the Nanny Fortuna has come to share her good news with all of you. Prepare to experience this joy, citizens. Or what does random do? Random rules! Indeed it does, and indeed it ever shall be. For random is fair, random is just, and random is... Even odd! Where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. <sighs> And the Queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules! Be grateful, child, that the Queen herself is here for your special day. Now, roll the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. <gasps> it had been settled. <laughs> At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it! No, even and so, Odd's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen up in the Sixer's palace, where, it was said, all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning.
had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. He even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life, but something seemed off. Something seemed different, or was it simply that she had changed? A portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas, and a painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive. But none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. An image of great, great, great grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Well, before then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive, but none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. An image of great-great-grandfather Peters, 200 years ago. He ate all his clothing to win a bet, even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. Even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with Even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen. She had eyes and ears everywhere. These paintings showed stories Even's mother told her were safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said, like the story of the card makers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. Odd shoes, little parts of her life, still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by Even. She never want Even's parents had locked the door securely as they had every night since Odd was taken. The scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who ventured too far from home. Even was too old. Even's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. Oh, it was still very late. Or was it very early? 
and even didn't want to wake her parents. stared at the toy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Oof. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, darling. You're thinking about your sister, aren't you? I feel you, child. I do. But she's been gone now a year. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. This was Onecroft, the world in which Even and her small family live. Like all Warners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except Even. Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Honestly, even, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Never thought you had it in you to break a precious rule. Don't be mean, Lucky. I'm not mean. That was a compliment. I think you're cool, even. Even if you should listen to your parents more. My parents say listening to them is the coolest thing of all. You guys are so touchy. We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are you... Aw, it's... At least you're new. The... Hey! Aw, oh, sh... Oh, my gosh. I'm... You guys are so touchy. We're... I... We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, 
I couldn't sleep. Mine's gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm not a blue. I'm not a bloob either. You're getting a load of these bloobs even. Well, that's just her bad luck. Really? Because my name. He meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? Yeah, it could have. I think it sounds mysterious. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. Even? I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No problem. That was amazing, Even. Hey, shut up. Seem like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall. She's in and I think you should give up on her, even. She's Once again. Halt! None shall enter the docks tonight by order of Her Majesty. Uh, random rules. You can't be here, little girl. That's only more reason not to let a child in here. Why, now run along, little girl. You shouldn't be here. The, the loading of junk all day long and all year long and all life long. There's only one thing that happens here. Junk gets loaded onto boats. Sorry, that's classified. Uh, top secret, very royal. Ah, the very idea that the queen would not share her ultimate secrets with me. Ha, ah, that may well be true, but that doesn't mean I should untrust. Now run along home. It's past your bedtime. Spirit wanted? It seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Random rules, even. Well, 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 look at you. I see ghosts all around us, child. Ghosts of the way the world. You've heard the good news, haven't you? The Queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't dip it. She's never wrong. 
She makes the rules. Random rules. And they're always right. It's incredible to live at the same time as more than life. I just want to be her. Oh, to be with her, I mean. To feel her. I'd love it. One town was unique. Some who lived here were kind, treating the queen with respect, and others seemed to have been broken by her in one way or another. But it was home, the only home even had ever known. Big city life. Oh, must be. You ever wonder what life's like in the other zone? The glory of battle. Yours. Oh, it must be so wonderful. I hear everyone works so hard there. Before the war, it was a sight to behold. Now, though, after the Queen ruined it. Big city life. How oh, must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So... two-sided. I wasn't born here, you know. I was born in Forberg. <laughs> Only I turned 12 and the Queen came and made me rule. Call myself a one. It doesn't have to be equal to be fair. It's what my mom always used to say. For sure. The Queen works in mysterious ways, and it's up to us to follow her rules. Random rules. I still remember how I... By the dice, I'm haunted enough already. strange figure even knew that her fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns, and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time.
even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before, or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning towards something new. Some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself? Well, heck, let me take a look. Maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. Well, look at these. Oh, these used to be everywhere, you know that? Oh, folks did trade them on the regular. Used to have quite a collection myself. I got, I got them straight from the factories in five tropolis where they made them, you know. Mint in books. Of course, it was before the war. A lot changed that night. We're still dealing with the consequences. Yeah, look around you, Missy. This ain't what things used to be. This ain't what things are supposed to be either. The Queen, she distorted it all. Turned us from good, honest folks into, uh, into whatever this is now. Only most don't remember it. Only me, it feels like sometimes.
no, no, no. You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your own. Go away! What do you think I'm doing here? We're all trying to hide, kid. Now leave! This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber, my realm of ad lubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. It means something that's delightful, like my room here, right? Wow, you really are just a kid, huh? Well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. There are no... Well, come on! There's got to be other spots. Go find them. Oh, for the love of... <clears throat> fine, fine, you little... little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet, like Shh, quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules one and three. Yeah. Look, I'll tell you what. Just hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. You want to know about me? Here's a deal. I'm off to find me son, see? I made it for the card maker. Quiet, kid, or he'll ruin the whole thing. Just, just, just go to sleep, kid. Well, the moment she'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Art was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber.
miss my sister. I miss my parents. I... You're safe, Nella. They can't hurt you anymore. H hurt me? No, that's not right. They never... I, I don't think they... They were denying you your future. Robbing you of your true destiny. You're finally home. Wake up! Wake up, girl! No, 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 no! This whole time ship's falling apart, Tatum. Today's a difficult day for you, Herman. Take one of these bad boys! <laughs> As even lost sight of Herman, she realized she'd also lost sight of her last connection to home. Okay. Still alive. Uh, I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. Uh, find time to remember I don't know how to speak. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Sixtown. But the wind and the fates had very different plans for her indeed. Wake up, girl! No, 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 no. 